Hey guys, just want to take a minute here at the beginning of this show just to let you know I got an exciting announcement here. Uh, long time coming, but I'm finally putting together a virtual summit. It's the Self Storage Virtual Summit. What is a virtual summit? Basically, it's like a conference, but hey, it's online. So, anyway, I'm going to have a lot more information coming about it. Um, getting all the speakers lined up right now. It, just getting the ball rolling. So, if you want to watch and follow and get updates on how this is all coming together, all the updates on the speaker lineup, it's 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 going to be amazing, okay? <laughs> it's going to be fun. So, go to uh, the self storage summit.com again the self storage summit.com just a quick landing page just put in your email address there opt in and that will just allow me to send you updates as things go along get you again the speaker announcements what's coming up um, as, as things move on and of course ultimately how you can participate and register for it so anyway go to that domain again the self storage summit.com Get signed up and I'll keep you updated. Thanks a lot, guys. So the big question is this. How are those in the self-storage industry like us going to be successful in today's market? That's the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Jim Ross, and welcome to the Self Storage Show. Hi, everyone. This is Jim Ross from the Self Storage Show. On uh, today's episode, we're going to continue the storage spotlight series. I got Jackie Balo. I got it right from Everbright. How's it going, Jackie? Pretty good, Jim. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I've always, you know, heard you know Everbright kind of around and all that, but I've never actually talked to anyone you know, from that company. So thanks for <laughs> coming on. Yeah, absolutely. We've been in the industry now for over twenty-five years. So, and we have thousands of facilities who've used Everbright to make their doors look brand new. So. Gee, well, yeah, kind of start, start a little bit from there. Give me a little history. What's, how did Everbright even come about? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, it's actually, it's a clear coating that restores faded and oxidized metal. So originally 30 years ago, it's actually my parents' business and they used it. Um, they sold it to redo um, mobile homes, uh, the things that people, people live in. Yeah. And, and then um, they're kind of looking for new business avenues and self-storage was a good fit because you can clean all the faded, chalky, oxidized uh, doors, get all that gone and put on Everbright. And it looks like a brand new top coat. Your doors look brand new for a long time. So while we have a few different coatings, we've got three different coatings, but Everbright is what we use for the self-storage industry. Huh. All right. I'm just kind of thinking myself. I know like I run some dogs that could probably use that to <laughs> get them going. So uh, how does it, I guess, first off, I'm just treating like I'm at your vendor booth because I actually, I know nothing. So yeah, kind of tell me about how it works. Yeah. So, um, so like you said, it's a clear coating. So we have videos on our website and at our vendor booth, which will be at SSA um, coming up in a few weeks but we um, have videos on how to clean the doors off, get all the chalky oxidation off, and we provide kits that give you everything that you need for it. Um, and then you put on the Everbright and it makes your doors look brand new. It's basically like a new top coat for the doors. You know, when you have brand new doors, brand new facility, those doors have a baked on finish that's really glossy and pretty. Yeah. And after about 10 years, those start to fade. So like when we're at the trade show and people go, oh, I'm just building. And I said, well, I'll see you in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> because well, it doesn't matter how long it takes for them to start to fade. And then um, they start to get that white oxidation, you know, and it gets on your hands and everything. And so you just get that cleaned off and apply the Everbright. And it lasts five to seven years, depending on the climate and where you are, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the country and how much sun your doors get. Hmm. Um, the south side doors need to be done a little more often than the north side doors and but it makes uh it can take a really old facility and make it look new again yeah as i said i, I run as far as my third party management i have some older sites in fact one of the sites i run is the same site i ran as a manager 20 years ago oh yeah <laughs> so weird and even back then it looked like ugh, it was <laughs> oh, yeah. this could work how does this so if I was like an owner, like I'm playing around with just painting my doors versus this, how do you kind of weigh those two? Well, so the paint is um, a little more expensive. So Everbright is really an affordable option, 
but the paint, the problem with paint is when you paint over that baked on finish, it a lot of times doesn't adhere. So sometimes it'll paint, it'll, or it'll, I'm sorry, it'll chip or peel. Yeah. Um, and then even when you do get a good coating, that paint starts about two or three years, that paint starts to fade and not so noticeably, but if you had to put a new door in, you know, somebody crashed into one of your doors and you had to put a new door in, you would see the difference in, in just, you know, a year or two, um, with the paint, whereas the Everbright lasts longer. And, and then it's also, it's a clear coating. So you don't have to, like, if you've ever, I don't know if you've had to do the painting at one of your facilities, you have to tape off the locks, the numbers, the, the yeah. edges of the doors, because you get that overspray and it's a mess. And with Everbright, it's a clear coating and you just go right over it. It protects the locks. It protects the doors. It protects the, a lot of people do the mullions on the side of the doors, the headers on top of the doors. You can go right over the numbers. Yeah. Oh, really? It's clear. And, and even if it gets on the ground, you, there, it does nothing but protect. Huh. So, um, especially in uh, places where there's snow or ice. Um, I'm in Utah, so that's why I keep thinking. Or in Utah, yes. <laughs> um, you know, you, they throw the salt on the ground and it corrodes the bottom of those doors. Yeah. And you spray the Everbright on and it protects it. Um, like I said, we, this is one of our coatings and it's used, we've used, it's used in lots of diff different industries. It's used in the aerospace industry. It is up on rockets up there. They won't tell us on what, but it's yeah. <laughs> protecting metal in the atmosphere and it protects really well. Um, for facilities that are like down in Florida, they yeah. it protects against the salt air corrosion, which is heavy anywhere you're on an ocean, right? Um, that's, so that's, really, that's, I was just thinking of that about coastal cities and that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be really important. Yeah, so it really protects the door, protects the metal. You can use it on the, any metal gate getting into the facility, your signs, um, hmm. uh, anything metal, it'll protect for that five to seven years and make it look new again so. how long does it take like per door on average like like well, a 10 by 20 type of a thing yeah so here there. in california we actually have a um a contracting division here in california and our guys can do a door in about 30 minutes so it'll take them um, depending on the size of the facility it takes about two weeks but there's no interruption to the business because yeah. you can you can wash the doors and get, let your customers in and they can get in, do it, and you go. You just move on a few doors down, and and there's no interruption for business. Um, it is hard work getting the the oxidation off. Um, we provide you with the the scrubby pads to use, the prep pads, but um, it's not difficult. So I always tell people when they come to the booth, it's like have your grandkids come or have your pay your kids to clean the doors. Yeah, it wouldn't take wouldn't take much of training people on how to do that the prep work. Exactly. Yeah, and we send out like a full set of instructions with every with every kit. Um, like I said, we've got the videos on our website, and um, and then we actually provide training. If you if if we've developed this uh, top operator program oh. in the last year or so, and anyone who's got more than four or five facilities, we will actually if you sign up for the program, you can we will actually come out and train your people how to get it done. And so that they can do all of the facilities hmm. and get discounts on the product and and train them so that all of your facilities can look brand new. Well, now I'm intrigued. I got to ask you about that. So, as far as like the top operator, what if you have like four or five sites? They have to be kind of geographically close. No, it really depends on your staff. So, if you have one main maintenance person, we can train that person, yeah. and they can run with it and do all the facilities. Like I said, it's it's hard work like any maintenance job is quite frankly, but it's not difficult. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I did it once as a, a college student and I yeah. did a bad job, so I'd never have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so you know how to, well, what it feels like. So exactly, I know it. what it feels like. Yep. So, uh, and I actually just joined, uh, like I said, it's my parents' company. I just joined back in the company a couple years ago. So I was actually off working other things, doing other things. But there's just so much potential with the coding and with the business that I can nice. back in. So. That's cool. It's that's kind of a funny that you know same same thing with me. Like it started kind of as a family thing that kind of got me into the business. And mm -hmm. before I was like, storage, I'm like 
No, it's, it's once you get in the niche, it's, it's it's pretty rewarding. It's it's fun. So it's a good business. Yeah, and I find that a lot in storage. Storage is a huge family business. You know, people are passing exactly. down their yeah. facilities and all that to their kids. So no, good. Well, I think really what it comes down to is people going to the website and just be able to kind of see the videos. I'm just I'm just looking behind you, kind of like you know, quickly <laughs> as a before and after kind of photos. But I'm sure it's yeah, it's a little hard to see here, but you can see like the chalky faded oxidase sores, what they look like when they're clean, and then how they're restored. Um, they look I don't know if you can see, but you can see on the website. Uh, you yeah. can see like really faded oxidized chalky doors, and then nice. Uh, really how they look and like those are not Photoshop those are I was just gonna say it's a Photoshop it really is it no I think those pictures were taken actually before we, anyone really knew how to Photoshop things but wow. yeah so they're um there it really makes a huge difference and we have so many happy customers we just did um like I said our contracting division here in California we just did um a storage portfolio we did five of their properties hmm. in two months and now all of their properties uh, down in Southern California look great again. Yeah, well, I mean, it all comes down to, you know, value or perceived value. And when a customer's like coming to a site and mm -hmm. people don't know what they're paying for. And granted, we're, they're renting air, you know, is what it is when they're holding it, that's what they're renting. But having that first impression of a nice looking facility, yeah, that's going mean, Especially... to go back to the owner, you know, they're, they're thinking of, it's money it's going to cost money to do this but no it's going to make you money it's you know? going to make you money especially you know with older facilities trying to compete with new, all this new development that we have yep so they have to have an edge and when you walk up and it's you know the doors are storage for the lay people of this world they see the doors and they're like if it looks old and it looks um just kind of dingy people are like a little turned off yeah so, it's not secure and it's run down you know, run down even when it's not run down the faded doors make it look run down and so really it kind of gives an edge to older facilities because most of the facilities we do are 15 to 20 plus years old yep so. my bread and butter yep. yeah <laughs> so, i mean did, are you able to you know kind of give some sort of roundabout price like per door what, what about 15 dollars per uh, large door for the materials and that's all the materials it's not just the coating so like i said we sell um, kits that we send out like five gallons of coating and five gallons of soap and all the things the brushes you need and everything you need to do it um so it is really affordable especially when you look at comparing the cost to painting your doors or um replacing your doors well yeah um, I, I just got a quote for painting a facility and I about fell off my chair. So yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more than 15 bucks a door. So. Right. And when you pay for the contracting, it is, it is. The labor is different. Yeah. Yep. The labor is part, is not part of that. That's just the material cost. Yep. But like I said, um, it's not hard work. It's hard work. It's not difficult work and anybody can do it. So any, any maintenance person can do it. You don't have to be a painting contractor cool. to do it. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Let's just put it that way. That'll, that'll be your motto. Just like, yeah, if I can do it. This guy can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just screenshot you right here. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so if people want to get more information, give us your website, how to reach out to you. Yeah, you can look at renewstorage.com. Super difficult to remember, I know. Um, but yeah, renewstorage.com. And then you can see a bunch of before and afters. You can find uh, the kits that you want. You can do buy a starter kit where you can do two to three doors with a starter kit and see how it looks on your facility um, before you go whole hog and buy for the whole facility. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's really, um, like I said, it's affordable. You can try it out. And cool. I'm, I'm slow. Spell renew for me. R E N E W. Okay. All right. And yeah. if you go to R E N E W hyphen storage.com, um, it'll take you to uh, a little more of a uh, professional site. That's our site for our contractors. And oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. That's, that's again, it's one of those things where, you know, picture says a thousand words. I think when people actually kind of see it and the kind of before and after, it'll, it'll start clicking. So that's. Yeah. And really, I mean, you think of people who, right, especially right now, like REITs are trying to buy a bunch of old facilities. Everyone's doing acquisitions right now. Yep. Um, this is really, A, an easy way for sellers to renew their facility to get a higher asking price because it looks better, cleaner, newer. Yep. 
And if you're buying those older facilities, it's an easy way to make it look new right off the bat after purchase. That, I mean, I see that so often, like owners will come in and quite frankly, they're buying sites that are kind of undervalued, you know, sites that haven't mm-hmm. raised rates and that kind of mm-hmm. thing. The owners come in and buy it. Mm-hmm. First thing you do is start raising rates. Yep. That's a perfect way to have that <laughs> value built in. And have it look exactly, like it. exactly. Nice. There's actually on our website, there's a, a, a video from one of our owners who has used it on several of his facilities and talked about how he specifically raises the rates to cover the cost of the Everbright. So. Perfect. No, they, yeah. I love case studies like that. So yeah. uh, that's perfect. Well, good. Let's kind of, let's wrap this up. Thanks so much for joining me, Jackie. Yep. Thanks, Jim. All right. Talk Have to a great you. day. See ya. Thanks for supporting the show. I want to let you know that we've just opened up our brand new free private Facebook group. There I'll be having some extra special content not found anywhere else. If you really want your facility to be a success in today's market, then this is going to be the place for you. You can request to join us at selfstoragecommunity.com or search for Self Storage Domination Community on Facebook.